you can see, uh, yep, we're down in the, uh, uh. down in the thing again. Uh. I'm having a chat this week with a, a very good friend of mine. We've only been friends for a matter of minutes, but it seems like days. She's, oh. Hey, that's interesting. Uh. It is, of course, Wendy Jones. Thanks, Ronan. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Well, I feel pretty comfortable at the moment. You're good? You're relaxed? Taking it easy. Taking Just relax, I'm You know, <sighs> do whatever you want. I mean, I'll get straight in. I'm here to find out what your preference is. You know that. Yeah. I want to know what you like, what you don't like, why you like it and why you don't like it. All right. But first of all, tell us why. Why oh. why, why such a funny name there? Old, uh, old Transvision thing. And... Why, why call it that? Yeah. Oh. Well, I suppose we just wanted to... I started think... with a tricky one, I know. Yeah, that got me, that one did. Um, Go on, then. Well, we just wanted to kind of have a word that no-one had ever used before, you know, and kind of sound like we were really trans-global, you yeah, know? Yeah, Pratt, trans-global, what's all that about? Well, that we're not just a trendy London band, really. And who thought up the name? Is it you or young Nick Slater there? Slater? Is that his name? No, Slater. Slater. Tell us about Nick Slater. No relation to Leo, one hopes. Not at all, funnily enough. No. No, well, I met him six years ago, and it was probably a month after I met him. <laughs> mic technique, always mic technique. It was a month after I met him that uh, we made up the name Transition Vamp. Great. <laughs> what about what about your influences? Because we need then? a really exciting life. Oh right. Well, it sounds like it. Bloody hell, look, you're down here with your friends. What about the uh, what about old Patty Smith then? Well. That's what? where I, that that's connected with Nick as well, really. Is that where it started? Yeah, because I was down at a club, you know. I was down at a club singing Patty Smith songs when he first met me. Right. And he said, "Do you want to come to a party?" Yeah, dirty <laughs> old sausage. He doesn't care, does he? Straight out, not even. Hello, then, my name's Nick. Whatever his name is. No. And I was living with a girl at the time. Steady. And she was 16 years old, and I was 17. Even steadier. <laughs> And um, she said, oh, let's go to the party. And I said, no, Zoe, because they're just going to try and get off with us. Yeah. Let's go home now and... Listen to Patty. Hang on. Hello. That... We're just, um... Having a... What are we do? We're just having a chat, really. Having a chat. You sign on for lots of different buildings and you pick up a fortune. And that used to be the only way to survive, because I was one of those people that thought, well, I'd rather be poor and work for myself yeah. than a bit less poor and work for somebody else who was a bit of a bastard. Now, uh, I understand that's where you got inspiration from, a lot of your lyrics from the old Patti Smith, Bob Dylan sort of a situation. Oh, Bob Dylan. Yeah, a big fan? Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Yeah. Do you admire the lyrics? Tomorrow I'm only bleeding. If I could, if I could put this to you, the lyrics. Just, what's, this, what's this song you've... Oh. Sister Moon, is it? Sister Moon has nothing to do with Bob Dylan. No. This is what I'd heard. <laughs> You're trying to... Very is... astute of you there, Rose. This is what I'd heard. I was trying to get it confirmed. Yeah. Where did you used to play? Well, I've been... Well, we've played all up and down the coast. No, where did you leave? What do you mean? Where were you originally? It's well, coast met... somewhere. Was it down on the coast? I met Nick down in Brighton. And when you were down there, am I right in saying this? Let me put this to you. That you... <laughs> you said that you sounded a cross between Barbara Streisand and Julie Garland. Ah. Oh. Am I right? Third rate. Be honest. Third rate. But Babs is one of your bigs, yeah? Babs is certainly a big old favourite of mine. Yeah? Definitely. Is that in her acting or her singing? Well, probably her acting when she sings. Great. Let's have a look at her singing then. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's Barbara Streisand. Yeah. That's good. Yep. And it's you've grown up into, you've grown up, you've grown up oh, ever so quickly, because you're in the pop industry, you've grown up into someone that is known. Yeah. And you do, is, yeah. Shut up, please. Sorry. You've grown, up into someone, you've grown up into someone who is known, quite honestly, let's face it, as the, the Nina Miscount of the pop business. Now, oh, why could that Roland, be? What do you that reckon? That really is a nasty one to pull well, out the well, bag, well, isn't I'm it? Well, I'm sorry, it's got to be said. It's you know, a bit near to the I knuckle. think you know what I'm talking about. Well... You don't have a lot of time for a lot of other people, do you? Well, I have a lot of time for quite a lot of people, actually. Right, go on then, yeah, go on then, sorry. But obviously, there are things I like and dislike, like you, you know. What, is that a like or a like dislike? Like anyone. Oh, I... Uh, now, I'll come back to that Yeah, we'll come. And, um, I know what you're saying. So, when people say to me, well, what do you think of so-and-so? Well, I don't know them, so I have to talk about their music. And if I don't like their music, what can I say? Oh, I really like it. And everyone kept saying, well, Wendy, if you want to go far in this biz, you better um, 
be nice about everyone. You better whip the clothes off, stick a couple of records on your tits and have David Bailey take a picture of you. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I thought, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm that with you on that one. You don't, want, yeah, you don't want to shallow yourself. And I must say, it was really nice that the press received it so well. Well, I don't receive anything these days, bloody press. <sighs> what about, uh, so I'm right in thinking you don't like cold uh, Anita Dobson, then? Well... Be honest. Go on, Nina. <laughs> Nina James speaking here. Well, um, no. Why no, I don't like her. Why not? Well, personally, I've never met her, but... That's a good reason, I suppose. <laughs> but in soap operas and rubbish like that, and then she starts singing with Adam Faith, who's another old fogey, and they walk around and you see them down at Stringfellows on, you know, in the... Not that you I'm You see them? You no, see them? Oh, oh, no, a slip, a I've slip. never been in Stringfellows in my life. I'm just oh, saying, oh, when you hello. happen to glance at the news of the world, you see them walking in, grinning, wearing yeah. a diamond-studded Angora jumpers. And what do we do when we see you? Oh, you think there's little Wend having fun. Yeah, having fun, relaxing, unwinding, and whipping her clothes off. And so, sticking a record in front. Yeah, well, dignity, very, dignity at all times. That's what if I people had a sense of humour, they'd realise that what comes first? Your body or your music? Oh, and obviously... Uh, and what do you reckon? The music came first. Well, oh, like, like, yeah, David Bailey would appreciate that one, I think, yeah. A bit of an eat then, well, shall we? Because I, I know you love her. with half a brain cell would realise. Oh, cutting. Cutting? Near to the knuckle again. Always cutting. Lost the feeling in my legs now. Brilliant tan, if, I if you don't mind me saying so. Yeah, well... I hope I'm not being too forward when I say that. No, you can say more of the same if you like. Well, I'd like to be a bit forward now, if I may, and just gently fondle just... the front of your blouse. Because well, I want to. Well, you see, you can't behave like that. Because I know. then, I mean, here in the water, I think it's funny between you and me. But all those critics will be out there and think, oh, look, he's just treating her as a sex object. Yes, no, again. I'm just trying to bloody save your bleeding bloody life, that's all. Baby, I know where this Here's a nice chocolate milkshake. Actually, I don't mind a chocolate milkshake. Get that down, you mate. Tell us about the old... Um... Just what you need when it's freezing cold. Well, I think so. You no. Oh, we might as well relax, eh? Hey? Oh. I've got a strawberry one, I think. Chip! Oh. Is this for real? Yeah. It... Well, I think it's real. It's from McDonald's. You never know, do you? Well, uh, you don't know. That's a very good point. Tell really. us about... Tell us about old Robert De Niro, then. Well, I just admire the man. As, as a lot of people, no. No. Go on, you admire the man. Didn't he went, You went out with him for a bit, didn't you? No, Roland, I didn't. Where on earth did you get that from? Well, somebody told me. Well, you should research your facts, not from the Daily Mirror, but from... Oh, what? Oh, what? No, no. I mean, Robert De Niro is somebody I admire. Along with, you know, Harvey Keitel, Al Pacino, any of it. Well, not Al Pacino, really. All right, because I, I thought he was one of your big fans, you see. And I was going to ask about the fact that the majority of the people that seem to come and see you are blokes. Well, that's not true either. Right, I've have, got you that one. To, have you been to any of our gigs? Not yet. Couldn't get a ticket. The touts are selling them outside for fifteen quid, actually. What those twenty quid ones? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get me on every one, don't you? Not I at mean, all. There's no point even trying to be funny when. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I've got my bloody McDonald's wear. Oh, God. It's all going horribly wrong. No, it isn't. Shall I put it back on my head? Yeah. Because, it, hey, it really suits you. Thanks. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Um... Oh. No, our audience is pretty 50-50, really. I heard that it was mainly women. I mean, men. Oh, for audience slip. <laughs> yeah, no. You get, you get both, really. I, I mean... I'm like sinking. At the end of the day, it's anyone that likes some good, loud music, really, isn't well, it? Well, let's get back to your mu musical preference, because that's why we're here, let's face it. Yeah. Um, I understand. Oh, oh God, I've read so much about you. <laughs> Don't grab me! Bloody <laughs> <laughs> water's gone all down my neck now. It hasn't. No, it has. Oh, don't get the mic to it, either. <laughs> Do you want me to... Testing! Do no, no, don't, don't, no. don't. Come no, on, don't ask be so. It's great because what I want to ask you about is the, where you get your influences from, and is it perchance um, Madonna in *Like a Virgin* wearing a wedding dress? I put it to you. And the answer is yes. Oh, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Oh, I think Madonna is a very clever woman. Not so much the wedding dress. 
Well, that's what you had on, wasn't it? No, I was meant to look like the Virgin Mary. Why? <laughs> That's going back some, isn't it? Stop! I'll bang that up there for me. Stop. She acts on Broadway now, doesn't she? Well, you say act. Well, she gets paid to be on Broadway. Have you been asked? asked have you been? Uh, have you been? Uh, have you? What is it then? Have you been asked to act at all? Well, you must have been. You're a bit visual. Yeah. You're a bit visual. Well, a few offers are coming, you know. I see I you guess... in the remake of To Sir With Love. You know the Lulu part. Where did you see that? No, I see you in it. Oh, you see me. Oh, in yeah, it? something, something I didn't read. Oh, sorry about that. Has that phased you? <laughs> it put me up for a second. I I've must mentioned admit. something that hasn't already been written down. Because I don't want to embarrass you, but I've got a copy here. I don't know if we can see that. I don't know what camera I'm on. Somebody put their hand up. No, all right, just ignore me. That'll do. There you go. Can we see? That's you on the front there, isn't it, Wen? Yes, and you're inside, aren't you? Yeah, if you just hold this. Oh. I'll show you. It's Show a me picture, yours. but I think my picture wins, it, wins it by a hair. Yeah. Oh. I'm in here somewhere. Is it no, The restaurant there. guide? No, well, tell me about... Uh... I'll find it, find it. All right, tell me, while I'm, while I'm trying to find it, can you tell me about the... Uh... Oh, you should... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Microphone technique. Oh, f*** that. Uh, oh, I've lovely. heard that you like a bit of a cigarette. Oh, I don't mind the fag now and then. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That saucy Jill Sinclair, she's given me the fake ones. Oh. No, we... No, if you smoke them, hide me. <laughs> They've got wet, They're haven't they? Working, they? They've got wet. Oh. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. What do you Wendy. see yourself doing, then? Well, I'm looking at ten years ahead now. You know, yeah. I mean, you're, you're singing now, you're, you're modelling. I'm you're, not modelling. You're not modelling, never modelling. No. <laughs> never been a model. Never been a model. Do you want to get into comedy, maybe? Acting? I, I, know, I noticed there Madonna's doing it. I noticed then that old nose is doing it, you know? Nose. Yeah, what's her name? Never ending. Oh, Barbara. Barbara. Babs. Yeah, Babs. Uh, do you have any, any sort of hankering? Well, I mean, it's a bit of an old cliche, isn't it, when all these pop stars suddenly think they can act? Oh, Sting's done it very well, I think. Do you? No, obviously not. No. I thought, oh. I thought um, Mick Jagger was good in performance. Come on, darling. Oh, felt like a duck. Oh, oh, oh no. careful. Oh, steady. Oh. <laughs> no. You, you, you like Mick Jagger, Listen. do you? He's good in performance. That's yeah. going way back. Your influences are going, they're all way back. How old are you? 22. Bloody hell, performance. You must That's have been about eight months old when that came out. That, that is my favourite film, though. Addicted to telly, are you? No. No, but you like Tommy Cooper. Oh, I do like Tommy Cooper. Oh, and you must have only ever seen him on telly. Yeah, I've only ever seen him on television. I never saw a live show. What have do you, you like ever about... seen a live show? Well, I, well, no. No, I haven't actually produced so I'd like to, because he's one of the few people I really admire. But now, of course, you won't get the chance. What, what is it about... Oh, I'm swimming. What is it about Tommy Cooper, then? Tell us quickly. Well, he's very much got the same kind of attitude that you've got, where he bumbles <laughs> along. Yeah, he just looked, everything looked like it was a mistake, but really it was really funny. A bit like old Morrissey then. Oh, Morrissey is brilliant. Well, why? I just think he's got a tremendous sense of humour, actually. People think that, well, I don't know, but some people have said that the Smiths are really down and doomy and gloomy and, you know. He knows better. But he's having a right old laugh with his lyrics. What, what you secretly he's saying up you lot? Well, I just think he's amusing himself, and it's very funny. Oh. Entertainment old watchword this evening. And very, and very quickly. <laughs> very quickly and sort of privately. Together as one, say, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, steady, steady. Whoa. <laughs>